Hey, thank you so much for clicking on the video today and learning more about how you can have a personal relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. You see, here at Charity, that is our mission. We want to lead people to know Christ and then to grow in their relationship with Him. And I'd like to share with you how you can have that personal relationship with Him through three circles. And this first circle that we are going to do is represents the world in which we live. And we know that today we live in a world that is full of brokenness. You look around today and we just come out of a major pandemic and we see sickness, we see disease, we see heartache, we see death. We see so many things that prove to us that this world is broken and it's diseased and there's a lot of problems. But that's not the way God originally designed the world. You see, back many, 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 many years ago, God created the world with much love and he created it in his design. God created Adam and Eve in the beginning and he put them in a place that was perfect according to his perfect design. And in that garden, God said that they would have free reign and he only said that there was one rule. Do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And he said, in the day that you eat of it, you will surely die. Well, guess what? Adam and Eve are just like you and me. They ran to the thing that they were not supposed to run to. And what they ended up doing is they ended up committing sin. And in that sin, they broke that relationship with God. They broke that perfect fellowship with God. And as a result, you and I have done the same. In the book of Romans chapter 3, we learn that all have sinned and all have fallen short of God's glory or God's original design for us. We have sinned. We've broken God's law. And we, therefore, have broken this perfect relationship with him by doing that. And what we do is we tend to have all of these ways that we try to escape our brokenness. Some try to do that through their career. They try to just escape the brokenness by overachieving. Some people do it through abuse of maybe drugs and alcohol. They'll do it through addictions. They also do it through relationships. And they'll try to restore their brokenness or fix their brokenness through all of those things. And none of that seems to work. We seem like they're all like bungee cords that the further we run away, the more we're snapped back into that brokenness. We try to fix it and we only make things even worse. But let me just tell you, God had a way to restore this. And it came through his son, Jesus Christ. And about 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, who did live up to God's standard, who was the perfect sacrifice. He was the sinless, perfect son of God who came into this broken world and never sinned. And as a result, Jesus Christ came down from heaven. He died on the cross. And when he died on the cross, he paid your sin penalty. He paid my sin penalty. The judgment that you and I deserve Jesus took care of it and he paid for it. And on the third day, we learned that Jesus Christ rose again. He came up out of the grave and now lives again in heaven. And what he tells us is if we will repent of our sin and believe in our heart that he is God's son and that he is alive today, then we can be restored back to God's design for us. We can be restored back to a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. And the way that you do that is you confess your sin. Say, God, today I realize that I'm a sinner and that I need your forgiveness. And I trust in what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross. I believe that He died on the cross to pay the penalty for my sin. And then He rose again on the third day and now lives in heaven with you. And you can just say, God, I just ask you today to forgive me of those sins and to restore me back into that perfect fellowship with you. My question to you today, do you find yourself here or here? Are you still in the state of brokenness? Are you still in a place where you're running away from God's design for you and you're trying to fix your brokenness through all these other means possible? Or have you ever confessed your sin? Have you ever repented of your sin and believed in your heart and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he did for you on the cross. 
Listen, if you've never done that, say that prayer that I just mentioned to you. Say those words and mean them from your heart. God, yes, I am a sinner. Yes, God, I know that I've broken your law. God, I need your forgiveness and I trust in what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross. And when you do that, he says he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hey, listen, if you'd like more information today, we would love for you to just click on the link below here, fill out that information, give us your name, your phone number, email address, ever how we can get in touch with you. And we would love to follow up and share with you more about how you can grow in your relationship with Jesus Christ. Thanks so much for watching and God bless.